Hey there. Welcome to another edition of Solve My Math Homework's Video Solutions. Today's problem that comes into us is a word problem involving compound interest, and in this case we will need to use a logarithm, and you will see why. So let's look at it. All right, so it says, for the following problem, consider an investment of $6,000 that earns 4.5% interest. How long would it take for this investment to reach $15,000 if the interest is compounded monthly? Okay. So before we do anything, let's look at the compound interest formula, okay? So the compound interest formula states that A equals, so A, the accrued amount, so the amount that you've earned over time, is equal to the principal or the initial amount, the amount you started with or deposited or invested, times 1 plus the rate over n, so the rate written as a decimal, n is the number of times per year that your interest is compounded, all raised to the nt power. Okay, we talked about a being the amount of money that you accrue over time, p is that principal amount, the amount you start with, r is your interest rate, written as a decimal, so we're not going to write 4.5, we're going to write 0 0.045, because percent means per hundred, so we divide and get our decimal. Okay, n is the number of times that that interest is compounded each year. So you don't get one interest payment when it's compounded monthly. You're going to get 12, okay? And t is our time in years. All right, so let's look at this problem again, and let's kind of label everything. It is really important if you label everything when you're looking at it. So the first thing I want to do is talk about, well, what do I have? It tells me an investment of 6000 Well, we already said that the amount we start with our investment is P. So there's our P. Okay, it earns 4.5% interest, so that's R, but really we're going to write it as 0 0.045. Okay, 4.5%, percent percent means per hundred. Okay, how long would it take? So how long is T? This is going to be very important. Whenever you're solving for time or an unknown exponent, you need a logarithm. So we'll talk about that. So how long will it take it to reach 15,000? So this is going to be our accrued amount. If it's compounded monthly, compounded monthly means n equals 12. Okay, so we've labeled everything. That's the first step in solving any of these problems. So let's do this. Okay, I'm going to write everything we've already talked about here. We said that a is equal to 15,000. We said P, our initial amount, is equal to 6,000, okay? Then we said that our rate was 4.5%, which equals 0 0.045, okay? Then we said, let's see, N. We know N, so that's 12 because it's monthly, and T is our question mark. Whenever T is our question mark, we are going to be using a logarithm, Okay, so here's our formula, in case we forgot from the previous page. A equals P times 1 plus R over N, all raised to the N T power. Okay, so let's plug this in. Let's see what we get. All right, so A is our 15,000. So 15,000 equals 6,000 times 1 plus 0 0.045 over 12, all raised to the 12 T power. Okay. And now let's clean this up. So when you do 0 0.045 divided by 12, you get 0 0.00375, then just adding it to 1. So let's get 15,000 equals 6,000 times 1.00375, all raised to the 12t. Okay, now our t is our exponent. It's our unknown variable. Okay, we've talked about we're going to need a log. We haven't really talked about y yet, so let's get into that. Right now, I can't touch it. I've still got this 6,000. Once I have this isolated where there's nothing else I can do but deal with that, we will. So right now, the 6,000, I'm going to divide that out. 6,000 is multiplied by this quantity. Now, be aware that 6,000 is not being raised to this exponent. An exponent only applies to what's directly beneath it. So this 6,000 is not being raised to 12t, so I can divide it out. Okay, so we are going to maybe get a different color here. So 6,000, that's gone, divides out. When I divide the 1,000 out, um, I get 15 divided by 6, that's going to give me 2.5 
is equal to 1.00375 all raised to the 12t power. Okay, now I have nothing else I can do, nothing else I can get rid of until I deal with this variable. And I said, anytime you have an unknown exponent, you need to solve using logs, simply because a logarithm is an unknown exponent. All a logarithm is, is an exponent. So we're gonna use a property of log that you may or may not remember. If you have, let's see, log base a of m to the x, okay? You rewrite that. When you have a log and it's raised to an exponent, it becomes x times, that exponent times, log base a of m. So that's the property we're going to use. Because I have an unknown exponent, I wanna multiply both sides by log so that I could use those properties. Can't use those properties if I don't have a log. Okay, so log of 2.5, multiply log to the left side, multiply log to the right side, 1.00375, still raised to the 12t power. Okay, now I have logs. Great, if I have logs, I can use the properties of exponents. Okay, so let's do that. Let's simply say log of 2.5, I haven't changed anything over here, but I am gonna bring down this 12t using this property. 12t times the log of 1.00375, okay? So now let's see what I have. I am solving for, and sometimes we forget what we're solving for. We kind of chug along on these problems and we're like, what are we doing? Well, we're solving for this little t right here, okay? And what's with t? There's a 12 that's multiplied and a log of 1.00375 that's multiplied. So we can divide those out. You're gonna use inverse operations. We're multiplying both by both these things, so we're gonna divide by both those things. Divide by 12 times the log of 1.00375 to both sides, 12 times log of 1.00375. I feel like I've said that a lot. Okay, that divides out, that divides out. We are now left with t equals the log of 2.5 all divided by 12 times log 1.00375. Let me tell you how to put this into your calculator because a lot of times I see students have the work is perfect and then they get the wrong answer. So let's say t equals and you're gonna put log, oops, sorry about that. We're gonna say your, into your calculator goes log 2.5 divided by open parentheses 12 times and then log and your calculator is going to automatically open a parenthesis 1.00375 you need to close that parenthesis and then add another so double parenthesis because you're in a denominator and you have two things that you're doing something to and I will do that math for you when you put it in you should get 20.40017 and that's enough years so we will approximate this, squiggly lines meaning I estimated, 20.4 years. For an investment of $6,000 compounded monthly with an interest rate of 4.5% to reach 15,000. That's if you put nothing in once you invested the 6,000. Okay, I hope that helped. Please put questions in the comments section. Please remember to subscribe to our channel so I can do your homework problem next.